And it is, by the way, uh, a, what did we call it again? It's the triple bonus free money day. Da, da, da. It's all this week. Triple bonus. No matter what the wheel shows, right? We spin the wheel. It comes up on one, two, or three hundred dollars. Uh, it, it will be three hundred dollars. So, how about if we take call number five right now and give somebody a chance to win three hundred dollars in the Hobika free money question of the day? Seven three six zero one eight six right now. Seven three six zero one eight six. And Bob is on the line now. Bob, good morning. You're on the radio. Hi, good morning, Bill. What's up, Bob? Um, I hear this all this same rhetoric about guns and everything. I said. Why don't they keep track of how many bullets people have? I, I understand the government was trying to limit bullets there for a while. Um, don't get it. I mean, there's another hot hot issue right there, and yeah. uh, that is, you know, a, a gun owner would like to. Okay, so they have a sale on water, and and you want to buy bottles and bottles of water because you get it at a good price. Mm-hmm. Who's to say how much water you can buy? Who's to say how many how many bullets you can buy? That's it. And even if you're just doing your own loads. Right, uh, you know, right. That can be done as well. You know. Right, yeah. Interesting yeah. So, because right, yep. a um, one of the big retailers in this area once in a while has a sign on their entryway doors that says you are limited to purchasing X number of boxes of ammunition, and I don't know if they do that for. I don't know why they do that. I don't know if they do that for supply reasons. Where is that again? Um, I wasn't going to mention the name oh, but of it's the a retailer. Store. It's, it's a, a retailer. large retailer okay. in this area. Okay. Um. I don't know, but that is a, that's a big issue, right? Mm-hmm. Um, gun owners don't want a restriction on, on how many bullets they can purchase. If they, you know, st- call it stockpiling, um, uh, that sounds so militant. What they're doing is they're, they're, they got a deal on bullets and they buy a bunch of them. Uh, if you put a limit on that, you're, you're, you're eroding their rights. And, and in their minds, you're ero- eroding their Second Amendment rights. Well, and also... Um, you can buy the guns. We're not going to take the guns away. We just won't let you have bullets. <laughs> you know. Nagel, you were talking to Nagel about this last week, and Nagel said, you know, there are weekends when he'll just go and shoot off a couple hundred rounds. Right. And, it, and, right. and that people. was the issue. Right. His issue was uh, the number of, uh, you know, the ammunition, the amount of ammunition that you can buy. That was his big issue. Right. Ta- uh, yeah. I was just because it's getting to a point in this country where you... It almost needs where everyone needs a gun. So your birth certificate comes with a firearm. Which brings you to, okay, I'm all Second Amendment, but um, I completely respect the rights of that that nightclub to not have everybody packing. Um, I'm sorry, you're in, a, you're in an alcohol situation. This is alcohol-induced. There's guys um, approaching other guys, guys... In this gay club or women, I don't know exactly what it, what it is, but I don't think any nightclub, you could ask any bar owner, no bar owner wants people to have guns in their nightclub. The bar owner wants to the have a gun. The bar owner though. wants a gun. And by the way, that is what it was. That that security guard at the door of that nightclub was, was armed. He mm-hmm. was an armed security guard. He's an off-duty police officer who was armed. And the uh, the guy, the assailant, this this deviant, uh, overtook him and went inside. Went inside the club. So uh, Donald Trump saying everybody, you know, if everybody had guns, this wouldn't have happened. Oh lordy, you got a night, a dark nightclub, and you just wonder who's shooting who. I mean, uh, any police officer will tell you that in a situation like that, who's the good guy, who's the bad guy. Uh, the last thing they want is to have everybody inside with guns shooting. It would be, you. I don't think police could go in at that point. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I can't agree with putting guns into the hands of people in a nightclub while they're cocktailing. Um, Thomas is in Columbia Center. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning. Good morning, Bill. Uh, you want to take a shot at winning some money here, right? Absolutely. All Where right. is he? Uh, in Columbia Center. I know it quite well. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't. Grew up in the Columbia Center area, which really? is south of Mohawk and, um, and north of Richfield Springs, over to the... West just a little bit. Okay. Good morning, Thomas. You ready to go? I'm ready. All right. Here we go. Here is your question. This is for $300 from the Hobika Law Firm. And your question is this. Um, uh, the uh, the biker, If you're a bi- are you a biker, by the way? No. Okay. Well, here you go. Here's your biker question. Bikers refer to this as a hog. What, is, what does hog, the acronym hog, stand for in the biker community? Ready? Go. 
A Harley Davidson motorcycle. A Harley Davidson motorcycle. Well, you're very close. That's not worth the three hundred dollars. It's an acronym, and it stands for H O G. So Harley Owners Group. Oh, okay. You were close. Uh, you were you were in the right neighborhood anyway, Columbia Center neighborhood. Uh, Andrew will hook you up. We'll give you some. Uh, we'll give you a gift card uh, maybe to Carmelo's. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Sit tight, um, Thomas in Columbia Center. He was on the right path. He was. The Harley Owners Group, and that's where Hog came from. Mm-hmm. That's why they call it uh, call it Hog. Hold on. We're going to take a break. We'll come back here. Lots to get into here today. Next hour, we're loaded up. Assemblyman Mark Butler, two issues. Uh, of course, they canceled and postponed their press conference yesterday on the New York SAFE Act um, for obvious reasons. We'll talk to Mark Butler about that. He's in Albany. And the Hinckley issue. John Zogby on to talk about everything in politics going on right now, and it's uh, really pretty scary time right now with all of the rhetoric going back and forth on both sides. Chubby Checker next hour, and uh, a fact check from yesterday's debate. Two issues. The money donated to Cuomo by uh, Stephen Wells, and the date that Claudia Tenney says that, uh, yes, she missed uh, votes in Albany, but it was because she was caring for her mother who was dying. Uh, what are the facts on this? And I'll have details of that coming up next hour. 656, Andrew. David uh, has a quick question. For got a break. I got a break. I really have to break. Hold on tight. Coming right back at WIBX.